Jason was doing what we are all trying to do and bring the guy to the left or right of you home. We had just come to an intersection. Uh, RPG came across our lead vehicle and missed us. We dismounted. There was a bunch of cars lined up um, trying to get out of the city. It wasn't normal, so uh, we decided to do a snap VCP on the cars, which is a vehicle checkpoint. I checked the, the van moving around to the front and looked up, and I saw Jason at the driver's side of the SUV. He told the gentleman to step out, and uh, he got out and he attacked him. He attacked Jason. I started running up, and that's when the uh, grenade went off. It was a large flash, and when it came to, I was on the ground on my back. I was confused, dazed. The Iraqi jumped up and took one look at me and started running. I opened fire on him, shot and killed him. I realized what Jason had done when I had gotten to the hospital and I had seen him. And I said that fragmentation covered his face. And it made sense to me that he had put himself on top of the grenade. I realized he had saved my life. We were able to see Jason for a very short period of time Wednesday night when he arrived in Bethesda. And we were able to spend a good deal of time with him Thursday before he left us. Your efforts gave us a chance to be with our son, to hold his hand and to see the peace on his face when the pain and the stress had left his body. For eight days, I prayed every day. I came out of church and one of my chiefs was waiting for me. And he said, Dr. Kraft, I just got off the phone with Bethesda and Corporal Dunham died last night. His parents were there and the Commandant of the Marine Corps. And I lowered my face to my hands and I just sobbed. I sobbed for a while. Yeah, my daughter was born, it's probably the happiest moment of my life. Every day I see her, I, th I thank God that Jason graced my life. He gave me a chance to get married, I'd be a daddy. Every time I see Melanie, right there in the back of my head, I think about Jason. He could smile and turn night into day. It's probably the hardest part of the whole deal. Um, I just, I can't bring myself to talk to the mother of uh, the Marine who saved, who saved our lives. I had a very unique gift given to me by those few moments that I was able to be with him as he struggled to survive and to get home to his parents and help make sure that he was able to fulfill his promise to her and come home alive, which he did. never be able to thank you enough for taking such good care of my son. I could not hold his hand, talk to him, or help him in any way. I thank you for doing what I wanted to do for my son as his mother, but was not able to. Sincerely does not sound right here. Much love, Deb and Dan Dunham. <laughs>